Hey guys, welcome to the 2017 MCAT preparation video. In this one, we're going to be looking at some simplifying questions, particularly with fractions. And as usual, guys, um, if you haven't done these types of skills before, check out the description. There'll be a link to some more easier examples. All right, so let's get started. So what we have is we've got a question here that says a rectangular shaped patio has a total area of 3x squared over 4 meters squared. So basically this part here is 3x squared over 4. The shaded region, which has an area of x over 3 meter squared, is added to the patio. What's the total area of the patio written as a single fraction? So what we have is we've got the two areas that we need to actually add up together and write it as a single fraction. Now, folks, the way I do this question, I look at the, um, I know a lot of people try and do cross multiplication. Um, look, the cross multiplication thing works, but you have to simplify at the end when you finish it, uh, finish the question. And sometimes it can be quite um, taxing when you're dealing with algebraic terms. So the way I'd like to do this thing is I look at 4 and 3 and see what is the lowest common multiple between 3 and 4. So I write down all the multiples of um, 3 and I write down all the multiples of 4. And from here, you can see that 12 is the lowest common multiple. That means I need to con change this denominator to 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this fraction here by 4 in the denominator and 4 in the numerator, and then the left-hand side fraction by 3 in the denominator and 3 in the numerator. Okay, And so by doing this, what I have is 3 times 3 is 9x squared over 12, plus 4 times x is 4x divided by 12. And this is still not a single fraction. To put it as a single fraction, I combine the two terms, 9x squared plus 4x divided by 12, and that is my final answer. OK, let's have a look at a, a different type of question again, but this time we're looking at subtraction. So in this, uh, in this question, we have a rectangular shaped garden area. Well, sorry, I should have written garden has a total area of 4x squared over 7 meter squared. So that's the outside box. That's going to be 4x squared over 7. And then we have... Now there's a second um, rectangular shaped grass region that's in the middle, which has an area of 2x over 4. And the question is, what is the total area of pathway around the grass written as a single fraction? So then what we have is 4x squared over 7 is the total area minus 2x over 4, which is the grass area. And as usual, guys, we try and work out what the common factor between 4 and 7 is. All right. Now I've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 7, 14, 21, 28. Now again, some people might say, well, I can do cross multiplication for this. Yes, you can do cross multiplication because between 7 and 4, there is no common factor. So you can kind of do that. So in this case, what I've got is the left hand side being multiplied by 7 in the denominator and 7 in the numerator. And on the right hand side, multiplied by 4 in the denominator and 4 in the numerator. So this works out to be 16x squared over 28 minus 14x over 28. And we can actually simplify this further to be 16x squared minus 14x over 28. But if you notice, we can actually simplify this further as well because 2 is a common factor in all the numbers. So we can take out 2 and this would become 8x squared minus 7x divided by 2 multiplied by 14. And both of our two cancels, and we're left with a final answer of 8x squared minus 7x divided by 14. Now, guys, the reason this happened was partly because of my fault. I think when I wrote the question, I actually put this green area as 2x over 4. And remember that 2x over 4 can be written as x over 2, and so you could have actually got that. Um, that's why you've got that extra step in this question. All right, that's basically it for this two types of questions here, folks. Uh, as usual, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, drop it in the comments below. Thank you.